7 News tracking breaking news on the Boston terror attack in the last two hours. We have learned three people have died after two bombs went off at the finish line of the Boston Marathon. One of those killed was an eight year old boy, and right now, 17 people are in critical condition, another 127 people injured. Police rushing in to help. 7 News with scanner traffic just in, highlighting the chaos from moments after the explosion. And 7 News with team coverage, Mark Stewart talking to Colorado runners crossing the finish line only minutes before the blast. We start right now with 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger with new video from one of those 27,000 runners. And this is new video that we just found. It's from the runner's perspective. You can see this runner approaching the finishing banner. And on the left, you're going to see one of the explosions happen. I'm going to pause it right there. Tonight, authorities still have no one in custody. But in the last couple of minutes, we've learned from the Associated Press, authorities are focusing on an apartment in the suburb of Revere, Massachusetts. A bomb believed to be hidden in a trash can explodes just feet from the finish line of the Boston Marathon. We can only show you a few seconds of this ground level video because of how graphic the images become. Later in this video, you can see a man take his shirt off to help a wounded spectator. I literally saw the garbage barrel explode. I saw the flash, the fire, the smoke, and I just ran as fast as I could. From this angle, you can see runner Bill Ifrig just feet from the finish, knocked down by the blast. The shock waves just hit my whole body, and my, my legs just started jittering around. I, I knew I was going down, and uh, so I ended up down on the blacktop. Twelve seconds later, a second explosion around mile 26 of the 26.2 mile race. Something just blew up. At the Tonight, there have been no arrests. There are people that we are talking to, uh, but there is no suspect. Access to the downtown area restricted. These photos show hundreds of abandoned yellow marathon bags. Runners fill these with their belongings at the start, so they'll be waiting for them at the finish. In this video, this is a camera that shows overhead of the finish area. You can see that finishing banner here. Runners coming through to this white area. I ran this race three years ago, and I can tell you this white area is a medical tent. It spans the entire block, and many of the first responders coming back toward the finish line came from the medical tent to give first responder help. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. Here's a look now at where the explosions happen. You can see the finish line. It's right here. And that first explosion happening near that finish line in an area where hundreds of people were cheering on the runners. The second explosion happening just seconds later, less than 100 yards away. Now, Congress holding a moment of silence today for the victims of the bombings. House Speaker John Boehner also talking with President Obama on the phone. The president then addressing the nation, offering up support and prayers and ordering full governmental resources to Boston. And we will find out who did this. We'll find out why they did this. Any, respons uh, any responsible individuals, any responsible groups will feel the full weight of justice. Our team coverage continues with Mark Stewart and Mark 521 runners from Colorado were signed up and tonight they are sharing their stories. And and we've been texting and talking to many of them including two women from the metro area. Both are experienced marathon runners and knew right away something was wrong. And also the he made a really bad explosion sound, like a boom. A blast just three blocks away from where Denver runner Junko Kazukawa was standing. She had just left the medical tent after finishing the Boston Marathon. Of course, I look back and there's a white smoke coming out. And I'm like, what happened? Then another one came. Junko took this picture as she was forced to clear the area trying to make her way towards her hotel in downtown Boston. At the same time, her friend Lucy West from Broomfield was still on the course, a half a mile from the finish. I, I couldn't believe it. Lucy used a stranger's phone to call her husband as the race was canceled. I can't believe this is happening. I've never seen anything like it. Runners will tell you a marathon is about perseverance. This race was about survival. This is my 10th Boston Marathon. I never think this is going to happen. I mean, you know, everybody's happy, beautiful day. You know, I don't know. Something's wrong in the world. And tonight, the women sent me a text message telling me security is extremely tight. In fact, they had to show their ID before returning to their hotel. They've also been told to stay off the streets. 
Reporting live tonight, Mark Stewart, 7 News.